Hokies. 79-55 is the final score. Hokies improved to six and one and take it to the Iowa Hawkeyes in the second half. We're now joined by head coach Buzz Williams. First of all, coach, congratulations on that win. You're excited and rightfully yeah. so. We were just talking about it. You haven't gone back historically over all the time you've been here, but that has to be one of the finest defensive halves your team has played here. Absolutely. Uh, I'm getting old, not excited as much as I once was, but really excited for how our guys played, how we responded, uh, for sure what we did defensively in the second half. Um, I thought our staff did an incredible job with the scouting report. I thought it was as uh, well prepared as our team has been relative to not just the coaches' understanding, but our players' understanding. And we played to the scouting report. Uh, very encouraged by all of it. How about you talked about in the shoot around today? KJ can't get in foul trouble. He gets in foul trouble pretty quick. And how about PJ coming in? The job that he got done today. He grew up today. Unbelievable. Uh, he he was the reason it was a tie ball game. <laughs> and uh, he played more consecutive minutes uh, in the first half than he has thus far since in his high career. <laughs> and yeah, since high school. <laughs> and uh, wow. And our and our guys were uh, so positive with him. Uh, Chris, like we talked about uh, maybe two post games mm -hmm. ago, he's always trying to help him, you know. And, uh, yeah, I thought he was extraordinary, to be honest with you. You mentioned the level of preparation from the staff for this team. I know yep. today you were quizzing them various sets and so many yeah. different staggers and stacks and things to go through, and they were right on point. Did it almost seem like they were so on point that they were a little too ready to go? I don't mean from a preparation standpoint, but in terms of just being a little too jacked up. Well, the it's, the, it's the first uh, Power 5 game uh, at home. Uh, we had 11 baskets in the first half. Eight of them were assisted. It was our lowest turnover rate. We only had four. four turnovers. The thing that I thought the separation was in the second half, or in the first half was they were just whipping us on the offensive glass. And in the second half, it may have happened. Uh, they may have gotten one there in the last two or three minutes. But the first 15 minutes, they got zero offensive rebounds. And I thought that was the difference. And uh, – I don't even know. You, you, no, I, I think our guys absorbed it. Uh, it was a good rep for me. It was the first time you had asked uh, two tech talks ago about our day of the game schedule. Mm -hmm. It was the first time that we had a uh, shoot around five hours before. Didn't want to have shoot around before school with a nine o'clock game. Uh, so we kind of changed, as you know, uh, we kind of changed the flow of what we do in shoot around. It was a good rep for me mentally. I think it was a good rep for them mentally. Um, and I thought they handled it all very well. And our staff was really good in the prep, in the film room, and on the floor since Sunday. And you talk about how K.J., he had to sit out that first half. But how about what he did to fuel the second half? Two offensive rebounds yeah. the first two. He got three defensive rebounds. He kept the ball alive, batting it on the other end. He was like a man possessed out yeah, there. Yeah, he played, played so much better yeah. uh, in, in, the, in the second half. And, and I thought he was a big key to – starting it. I think he scored the first basket or maybe it was the second basket in the first half or in the second, second half. half yeah. But um, yeah, we, we need K to be good. Uh, and we need K to be able to play when we need him to play. And, and so hopefully we can, he can grow from uh, the second half. Before the game, when we were talking, Coach, I asked you, I said, if all doesn't go to the script, how quickly will you have to adjust? And clearly that came with the foul trouble, and P.J. Horn made that adjustment. And you said part of it is those adjustments being part of the game plan. Is part of your excitement right now because, one, you grew up a little bit yep. as a team in the first half, but also because you just beat a Power 5 and a good one team by 24 points, and there's another level yet to get to, isn't there? I, 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 a couple of things, and I'll not cry. They handled the adjustments really well, and I commended them for it at halftime. Uh, I met Nikki Giovanni in my second year here, and I have a Hall of Fame wall. It's a magnet wall in my office. Take a picture, turn it into a magnet, send the picture to that person, ask them to sign it, write anything they want, send it back, and I put it on my wall. I have one at home for our family and have one at my office that includes our family, uh, but just the most random people slash relationships I have. Nikki Giovanni s signed. Once you know who you are, you don't have to worry anymore. And you know why I'm excited? I think our team 
is starting to know who we are. And if you know who you are, you don't have to worry anymore. And if you know who you are, then similar to your question at uh, pregame, then let's just work towards our strengths because we know who we are. Five was so much better in the second half because he played to who he was. P.J., that's who P.J. was in the first half. P.J. doesn't know how to be anything different than who he is. But when we, the Hokies, know who we are, then we don't have to worry anymore. And we can work to be the best we can be. And the scouting report, the plays are going to change. But you guys and whoever else is calling the game, they're going to say the same thing. They're small. They're fast. They can really shoot. And what they're going to say about the other team, man, they're big. They're going to bust up the Hokies on the, on the offensive glass. And uh, how are we going to keep them out of the paint? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we're going to say. And we're always just going to – the message is going to be the same. We're just going to change the words around. But the plays are going to be different. But the impact on what they're trying to do is going to be the same. And I just think that uh, going into December, I think we're growing into who we are. And I think they're very accepting of that. I think they're willing to absorb that. I think that they're holding one another accountable for that. And I think that's the hardest thing to do in coaching. And if you can do it uh, in November, then I think you're heading in the right direction. There was a clip in the first half where Ahmed Hill went 10 fingers, 10 toes, right in Superman, front of the Superman, baby. Saved the ball, <laughs> got it ahead, fueled transition, ops absolutely drove the Iowa bench insane. And I said, if there's a 10-second snapshot of a Buzz Williams-led team, that would be it. And That's I also him. felt like that was the moment in the game where you guys discovered who you are, maybe not in the larger sure. picture, but in the picture tonight. I thought that was a huge play. Uh, I'm not sure why they were upset. It doesn't bother me any. Uh, I thought K.J. falling on the ground for that defensive rebound that Burnett mentioned in the second half. Those winning plays, that's who we are. And the more we can be who we are, uh, the better. You're like five days removed from Thanksgiving, right? You had turkey. How many turkeys did you have tonight? I mean, they were one of 16. Somebody we had came up, eight. Somebody came up to me and said, you know what? I like, think that would be a record, too. Somebody came up Seven and said, you know what a bunch of turkeys are? It's like a rafter. <laughs> <laughs> With the, I think it was eight because five was hollering. You know, we show them uh, the AT. Uh, there's certain things on that yeah. board that, it, you know, the board is uh, designed exclusively for the things that we cover each ATO. And uh, we had eight, and we were one stop away from nine. I, I'll have to look. I don't think that that's happened uh, power five to power five since we've been here. So if you guys got PJ on uh, next – PJ, this is a microphone, and you're going to have to talk. <laughs> this will be interesting. I'd like to see this one. Well, you can stick you, around. Burn up, you'll you have to carry this for a while. Well, that's why I just said to Dyer, I said, hey, we got PJ Horn, because he grew up a lot today. we got to get he's the final a, phase He's got here. a beautiful smile. This will make him grow up. <laughs> PJ, you got to talk, baby. You, you had fun out there tonight, didn't I, you? You know, uh, this, that was awesome. Yeah, I should, I should not get too excited on wins or too low on losses, but I did think that we grew up. I thought it was the next right step. Uh, the end of this week is the next right step for our team, for our program. And, you know, the things that go through my mind are all of the things that led up to tonight. Not just those kids, but all the stories that got those kids to here and all the work and all the staff and all of this and all the scheduling and all the reports and all this and all that. Hey, man, uh, that's fun. ACC Big Ten Challenge playing at home. Um, Against the guy that has been coaching longer. Longer than, than I've been a coach. <laughs> yeah, head coach, yeah. yeah. How about that? No, he's, he's been, been a head, head coach, coach longer than, than I've been employed as a coach. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, Lehigh, Greensboro, Siena, Iowa, 4-8 and eight in the NCAA tournament, eight NCAA appearances, four NIT appearances, has won the league that he's coached in three times, and uh, he's won uh, 400 and – I'm going to mess oh, that up. I got it right here. 478. Total 392, and it stays that way for Fran McCaffrey here tonight. Is that, that's not right. Dyer, give me the right stuff, pal. <laughs> that's what they got in their notes. <laughs> I promise you Dyer's the right. Dyer right. texts me all the right stuff. All right, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have fun with PJ. PJ he's Horn. not PJ. He's Preston.